fabulous December for Tranmere. January, not so good. I think the performance at Barrow was a good one, but didn't really happen against MK Dons. Yeah, um, definitely. I think December was a really good month for us as a football club to climb a few places and get some really forward momentum. And then the Barrow result obviously hurt a little bit because there was nothing in the game. Um, we, we should have got a point, but then MK Dons, we, we were nowhere near it and th they, they were brilliant to be fair to them. So we just got to put that behind us and just keep looking forward. What do you think happened in the MK Dons game that, that uh, has made you all step away from it performance-wise? I, I don't think we really stepped away from it. I, I just think that they were, they were very good in what they did. They've got a manager who wants to play total football. They've got really good footballers in midfield and they, kept, they looked after the ball really well, to be honest with them. Uh, they didn't really give us a sniff where we could jump and press out of our shape or, we, or we'd get picked off. And I think it showed on the day. I think we would have been very lucky to get a point, and, but we should have got a point in the end anyway, but we, we didn't. So, yeah, I think we just got to learn and move on fast. Do you think there was an element maybe of frustration in the performance that, that you didn't reach your levels, even though you were up against a team that maybe went beyond their, their recent levels? Oh, definitely, yeah. Um, I mean, look, when we had the ball, we were nowhere near good enough with it. But, I mean, from the way we like to play and sit in our shape and then jump and press, I, I don't think we really had the chance to do that because they looked after the ball so well, which, let's be honest, there won't be many teams like that in League Two, so... I think we just need to keep st stick to what we're doing because it works and it's good and everyone thrives off it. But yeah, the last two results haven't been good enough. Is it difficult to stick to what you do just from a mental capacity when the, the past couple of results have gone against you? Or, or is it actually more important to stick to what you do when things don't go your way? No, I think it's it's definitely important to stick to what we're doing. I mean... Since the gaffers came in and we've played in this formation and shape and pressed how we press, we've had a lot of joy. I mean, even the Barrow game, there was nothing in it. They're flying high up at the top of the table. There was nothing in the game. If anything, there was only going to be one winner. And then they score a worldy goal, which is a sucker punch. But um, yeah, the MK Dons game, I think, is just a one-off and we can't let that happen again, especially at home. And the manager has got a lot of faith in you, hasn't it? I know from a personal perspective when you first came to the club, bad injury and, and at the start of this season, things didn't go your way injury-wise. But, but you're getting a, a decent run in the team now and there's a, a huge element of trust from the manager to have you right in the middle of the engine room. Yeah, I mean, the gaffer's been brilliant with me since he's came in. Um, I know myself what I can do when I'm fit and I'm ready to go and that. That's how I feel at the moment. I feel really good and hopefully I've showed that in my performances. Yeah, what's, what's the manager said to you Just in, in what he wants you to provide for the team? No, like he wants me to get on the ball. He wants me to especially get on the ball in their half with my range of passing, but um, more, more to be solid and don't let teams come through the middle of us, which they haven't really, to be honest. And the more we nullify that teams coming through the middle of the pitch, because I think we've got a good core of players from the middle of the pitch from Geno and then me and Regan, Tom and Jordan, as it is, as it stands, who've been playing recently. But yeah, it's I think we've been doing really well and the MK Dons game is just a blip. And you seem to have forged a really good playing relationship in the heart of that Rovers midfield with Regan Hendry. Yeah, um, look, Regan's a really good footballer. And he probably doesn't like to do the dirty side of the game, what I do, of just breaking play up and then giving it to the good players. And Re Regan, like I say, he, he likes to bomb on a bit more, more than me and I just try and protect the middle of the pitch and let him do that. And at the moment, it's working really well, yeah. And those combinations are all about balance, aren't they? Yeah, I think that's, that shows within the group that we've got at the minute anyway. I think there's a really good balance, um, allowing the full-backs to get higher, letting Robbie do his stuff and then people covering round so there's no counter-attack on for the opposite team. And I think we've sustained a lot of pressure in games, especially recently through December and stuff. It's difficult training-wise at this stage of the year when you get the bad weather, freezing cold, it's been snowing, there's ice. It doesn't appear to be an ideal day to go to the beach, but the manager's got different ideas, apparently. Yeah, um, no, it's funny you should say that because we run about... Um, in the ice bath the other day, the gaffer said he often goes to the beach for a morning dip. 
but I, I didn't think we'd be going as a football team on a Thursday morning. But no, it was good. Um, it was somewhat different. Obviously, the training pitches are not letting us train, so we've got to do something to keep ticking over. And if a day out at the beach is what it is, that's what it is. I'm sure you weren't making sandcastles. I mean, how did it all work out? What did you do? Oh, no, definitely not. Um, the gaffer's massive into his organisation of how we'll set up for the game, so we were just on the beach in our shape, mm. really. Yeah. Just just doing what we do on a training pitch, but on a beach. Yeah. Variation is good, isn't it? Because it, it, it asks different questions of you. Even if you're doing the same thing, you're doing it in, in, in a different place. Yeah, I think... It's speak for everyone. I think everyone will be in the same position, especially League Two, League One clubs. I don't think there'll be many pitches that hold up this sort of weather. So you've got to adapt and you've got to find something what works for you. And if the beach works and we get a win on Saturday, I'll go to the beach every Thursday. Yeah, Swindon just above you in the table. Uh, they had a fabulous start to the season. Things have, have dipped quite alarmingly for them since then. I think they've won three from 15. They've made a managerial change, but we all know about the new manager bounce. I know I think it's, they've got a, a, a temporary manager in at the moment, but it, it kind of makes sure you, you, you've got to be right on your toes, haven't you? Not just looking, you know, not that you pay that much attention anyway, but you look on paper, a team in poor form, they get a new manager, wants to do things differently. Yeah, I mean, you, you can't write any team off in this division. I mean, they're a very good team with really good individuals. And I know they've lost a few recently, but they're still a very good team. And... It's not going well for them at the moment, but they'll be doing everything they can to get a result come Saturday. And it was just like us at the beginning of the season. Nothing was going right for us, couldn't get a result. And we, we finally picked up a little bit, but it'll be a, another tough test, um, tough place to go. They'll be right up for it with a new manager, like you say. So, yeah, it'll just be a normal League Two game with a, a lot riding on it. And your away form has picked up markedly in the past month, six weeks even if some of the results haven't shown that. but to, So but more of a, an element of confidence when you're on the road now, that you can, you can do what you do and, uh, and things you know, can go your way after that long run without an away victory. Yeah, definitely. Um, obviously, the, the away results has been nowhere near good enough. And luckily for us in December, we picked up a good few results on the road, which we needed to do because the longer it kept going on, the more it just felt like we were never going to get something, but it's stopped now. We've put a stop to that and we go into every game now with confidence that we can score goals and stop them scoring. There must be a mental lift for players when you break those sort of hoodoos and you get, you know, because on occasions really good performances don't get the result. And But the fact that you've got a couple of away wins together, you know, when you're travelling to games, you're in the changing room, you can sense when things aren't going your way. There's... You know, not an apparent dread, but but if you can give a boost to self belief, it can just add those little percentages that help. No, I, I get what you're saying. Yeah, um, obviously we didn't go into games at the start of the season thinking we're not going to win here. We obviously went in with every attention trying to win an away game, but for some reason or not, it, it didn't happen. And then obviously Boxing Day we go to Salford and score five, and the momentum just com completely changes and everyone's full of confidence. We go to Harrogate, we win. And then we obviously went to Barrow and played a really good game. And we were very unlucky not to get nothing. So, like I said, every game in this division will be tough and we just got to go into it with the same mindset of how we've approached every game under this, under this gaffer and what we've done as a group. Momentum is really important in football, isn't it? In terms of, of how the 90 minutes of a match work out, but also in terms of runs of 3, 4, 6, 10, 20 games. And a strange commodity, nobody really knows where it comes from. No, like you say, yeah, and the gaffer always says it. It's so hard to get, but it's so easy to lose. And you've got to just grab hold of it as much as you can because when you're in the good momentum, you don't want things to stop and you want to keep rolling game after game. But... Obviously, we've had a little blip, but I don't think that stopped any momentum around the dressing room or the staff around the building. I think we're all in a really good place and we're just looking forward to the next game. Having spoken to you on a couple of occasions over the past few months, I get the feeling that you, you're really enjoying life at Tranmere. Yeah, I am. Um, obviously, playing games makes a massive difference. So now I'm in the team and I'm playing, playing OK. Um, long may it continue, yeah, and get some more results.